Today we're talking about a 6'5 big guard who really impacts the game on both ends of the court. From providing open threes on offense to blocking shots and getting out in the passing lanes on defense, he just really brings a ton to the table and is looking for a new home. So get ready, we're breaking down Mike James today. Hello and welcome back to a Transfer Portal Spotlight. Today we're talking Mike James, a big guard out of Louisville who just brings a ton to the table. Before I even start talking about him, I'm going to do something a little different, you know, in this episode of the Transfer Portal Spotlight. I just want to show you a quick clip that really embodies who this guy is as a 3 and D player. So this is just 3 and D in a nutshell. I mean, he gets down, deflects an alley-oop pass, gets down to the other end of the court, gets the ball and is just able to put it on the ground, overpower a smaller defender, get to the rim and finish. That's just the type of effort and energy you love to see. Uh, You know, I think it just embodies the potential that he has as a 3 and D guy to really come in and galvanize you a little bit on defense and then bring something to the table on offense to where he's, you know, still just a net positive on both ends of the floor. Now, before we get too far into anything else, let's just take a look at, you know, what Mike James was able to accomplish at Louisville last year. So when you look at his stats, he was, you know, able to impact the the game from a scoring perspective, you know, averaged over 12 points a game, contributed on the boards, you know, over five, you know, right at five a game. That's, it's pretty good for the type of role he was playing, you know, on their team, was able to share the ball, you know, averaged, you know, an assist and a half a game, and then really was a good free throw shooter and a pretty good defender, even though the overlying stats may not bear that out entirely. Now, we're going to cover, you know, Mike James from a variety of different angles as we normally do in this series. We're going to focus, you know, on his shooting, on his ability to affect the game in transition. We're going to look at his defense, and then we're going to also talk about an area of improvement within, you know, his three-point shooting where his splits are just a little off and a little concerning. But first and foremost, we're going to focus on his ability to knock down open shots, uh, his ability to be a catch-and-shoot threat on the perimeter, and really impact games that way. So let's head into that clip package. Overall, Mike James does look comfortable as a shooter. Like he has a repeatable release. He gets to the right spots. He knows where he's comfortable shooting the ball from, especially from both corners. He's he's pretty effective. The wings, also still a pretty reliable shooter. Uh, Straight away, wasn't that great. But he he has an ability to knock down jump shots, specifically ones where he is open. Uh, It's not the quickest release in the world, so it does take some time to get off. And we're going to get in to that a little bit later but overall a solid shooter I think he was you know a mid 30 percent overall three-point shooter but unguarded you know you can see that on the bottom there he was 46 percent so if he gets open looks then he's generally knocking them down which is a great thing Uh, from someone that provides the level of defense that he can potentially provide I think you know this is just a huge aspect of his game it allows other players to create knowing that there's a three-point shooter on the perimeter that's a reliable option. You have to stay honest. You have to stay out on him. I I definitely think this is one of his top skills that he brings to the table. Well, overall, he had a good year shooting the ball. You know, he definitely knocked down his share of threes and and worked really well in transition and off some catch and shoot opportunities. The disparity between, you know, his splits when he was guarded versus unguarded is a little concerning. And I think a lot of it boils down to shot selection. And, you know, in this next video, I think you're going to see what I mean. So I mentioned earlier that his shot can take a little while to get off. And, you know, I think he struggled at times coming to grips with that or, or, or factoring that into his shot selection because there's a lot of looks he gets here that appear like they're they're kind of open. Uh, but, you know, with the time it takes for him to get his shot off, you know, there's a pretty aggressive closeout coming his way. So I think, you know, moving forward, you want him to be a little more aware of of the spacing on the court, of what's around him, the obstacles he's facing in, in terms of shooting. But I also think you can write some of this off just being that he – you know, was playing on a team that wasn't super competitive last year. The shots had to come from somewhere. And in his mind, you know, he might be thinking, well, there's not going to be a better shot that comes along on this possession, so I may as well take it. Uh, there's just a growth opportunity here for him just to to realize his game, where he can get a little better, maybe either speed up that release a little bit or just be willing to attack a hard closeout more on the dribble than he's used to. But overall, not a huge concern, but definitely something I noticed in his splits and wanted to point out. Next, I want to shift gears a little bit and stay on the offensive side of the ball, but let's talk about an area where he really excels, and that is going to be getting to the rim uh, in transition, 
just really being an offensive playmaker in transition. He runs the floor very hard, uh, and you know he creates opportunities for his team to get easy looks. So let's go ahead and look at Mike James in transition. So probably the thing that I love the most about Mike James is that he is involved on the front end of all these plays and on the back end for the most part. Like he gets out in passing lanes very well. He's a factor at the rim if he's around it. Like he can just do so much. Like there's this play again. I, I mean, I love it. Like the fact that he's able to deflect the ball, get down the court and be a factor in the play is just super impressive. I think, you know, he will we'll get into his athleticism a bit later, but he is able to overpower smaller guards really well and use his body to shield contact, especially in transition. Like you're going to see it here. So he's able just to, to get the guy on his shoulder you know, Wilson is not going to make a play on the ball there. So he's just able to shield him off and finish with his left. And I, I just really like how fluid he is in transition. He doesn't do things, you know, too out of control, just really brings a, a level of speed to your team in, in transition that I think is just a huge net positive, really, really good aspect of his game. Mike James allows you to have a lot of flexibility on defense. He's a bigger bodied guard who can move his feet really well. He does a great job of cutting off attacking angel angles, uh, you know, stopping penetration into the paint and altering shots on the perimeter and on the interior. There's a lot to like there. Let's take a look at Mike James on defense. So he is an incredibly versatile defender. Uh, we talked about this when, when we did the Don, uh, Dontres Styles transfer portal spotlight, but he is he can really play in a lot of different ways. So on the pick and roll, like he, he puts a lot of pressure on the ball first and foremost. Like he's able to, to really get up and move his feet. Like he avoids contact on that screen, beats his man to the spot, makes him stop, and his defender helps him out. He's just he's super, you know, quick laterally, which which helps him out a ton. He's also pretty strong and pretty long with with some good athleticism. So, you know, if he does get switched off on a big, I don't think it made it into this highlight clip here, but you know, PJ Hall had him on his back one time. And he was able just to wall up, you know, and from a six five guard who you can can play defense on the other team's best perimeter player, to have him be able to wall up on one of the ACC's best post defenders, you have to love that. I mean, you have to up oh, here it is right here, actually. So it did make it in. So he walls up on him, plays good defense, forces a miss. Like that's just, you know, great when you talk about a versatile player who can can let you scheme up the play really any way you want to. Love Mike James on defense. There's one more thing I wanted to talk about regarding Mike James, and that's his ability to really just up the overall athletic ability of your team, to be a threat, to do things that only very athletic players can do. So I put together a short, you know, highlight clip here. That's just going to be, a, you know, some opportunities he had last year that he cashed in on that. It was some wow plays that pop off the screen that really make you excited about him as an athlete just joining your team. Uh, you know, raising the floor of the, your ability to do athletic things on the court. Overall, when you watch him play, like a lot of the dunks he gets aren't like, wow, he got off the floor so hard, but he finishes really well in traffic. He's able to get two handed offense, with a little more structure, a little more space. Like he's going to do this a little more consistently in my mind. And that's going to do it for our kind of analysis of Mike James. He's in the portal He's going to start taking visits here soon. Where do you think he's going to go? Drop a comment, you know, put in your prediction. Let's see who turns out to be right in the end. But I'm, I'm super excited to see where he ends up. I think he's going to bring a lot to the table just for any team that he ends up on. He contributes in areas where you're always looking for guys to be able to, to raise your production there. So whether it's shooting or defense, what have you, he's going to help you out. You know, there's no question about that. He's going to make teams better in those areas. And in today's world of basketball, that's all you're looking for. Appreciate you all being here today. Checking this out means a lot. As always, please like and subscribe if you like this video or found it helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions or any other players you want me to do. I would love to dive into it. So thanks a lot again. I'll see you on the next one.